and welcome to Jesus Christ Prison Ministry and another video Bible study. Our topic, Psalm 90. Lord, you have been our dwelling place throughout all generations. Before the mountains were born, or you brought forth the earth and the world, from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. God is our dwelling place. Everything that exists, every life, dwells in God. He provides the energy, the power, the breath, the strength for all of us. If He should remove it, we would not exist. So we all dwell in the Lord. You turn men back to dust, saying, Return to dust, O sons of men. That's how powerful God is. For a thousand years in your sight are like a day that has just gone by, or like a watch in the night. Now notice, this is not a factual statement that a thousand of our days are, or a thousand of our years are, equated to one day of God's. No. The point is, God is forever and ever. It just simply is a concept that there's no way to express that foreverness. Poetically, a thousand years in your sight are like a day that has just gone by, or like a watch in the night. You sweep men away in the sleep of death. Here we again have the concept that death is asleep. Jesus reaffirmed this when the disciples said, Lord, if Lazarus sleeps, it does him well. And the Lord said, no, Lazarus is dead. Jesus equated sleep with death. They are like the new grass of the morning, Though in the morning it springs up new, by evening it is dry and withered. We are consumed by your anger and terrified by your indignation. You have set our iniquities before you, our secret sins in the light of your presence. We want to know what our sins are. We want God to reveal them, not to the world, but to himself and to us. We want to overcome sin in our lives. All our days pass away under your wrath. We finish our years with a moan. God is wrathful against sin. However, he has blessings for those who live his perfect, righteous, sinless, commandment-keeping life. The length of our days is 70 years, or 80, if we have the strength. Yet their span is but trouble and sorrow, for they quickly pass and we fly away. How true that is. Here I am, just about 64 years of age. How quickly 64 years has gone by. I look back upon it, and truly, it is a span of trouble and sorrow. And yet, there are also good times. Every day, now that I serve the Lord fully, I want to make every day count by serving God. He brings joy and happiness. Who knows the power of your anger? For your wrath is as great as the fear that is due you. Teach us to remember our days are right, that we may gain a heart of wisdom. How true that is. We need to know that our years are very short. We could die any day. Therefore, we need to have a heart of wisdom. And what is wisdom? The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Learning the commands of God and putting them into our lives, that is wisdom. Relent, O Lord, how long will it be? 
have compassion on your servants. Satisfy us in the morning with your unfailing love, that we may sing for joy and be glad all our days. Make us glad for as many days as you have afflicted us, for as many years as we have seen trouble. May your deeds be shown to your servants, your splendor to their children. May the favor of the Lord our God rest upon us. Establish the work of our hands for us. Yes, establish the work of our hands. Whatever we do, unless it is done with the approval of God, it will not be established. Only when God is the establisher will anything that we do remain. Men today think they're so wise and so great with all their scientific knowledge, and they build these huge towers. All it took was one airplane to bring two of them down, well, to bring one down. All God has to do is just shake the ground a little bit. And if God hasn't established something, it will come down. In our lives, if God is not the foundation, if He's not establishing our lives, they will fall apart. Today, make sure that you are built on the foundation of Jesus Christ. Invite Him in to establish your life by being obedient to everything He commands you. Thank you for being with me and Jesus Christ for another video Bible study.